a kilo kneel with the grass and regroup with the three point steel and success and switch swoop when I'm making them feel the profession. Make this guy's God, rapping, man. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> rapping, bro. Yo, this might be my favorite. Ren rapidly rap one. I I thought I, I like the hunger, but I like this one. I think a little bit more. Happy Easter, everybody! Happy Easter, everybody! Welcome to a special edition of the Straw Hat Show. I'm Jules the Buddha Monk, and I'm Trix the Hooligan, and we are twin rappers who will be reacting to some of our favorite music and music that you've requested of us. Today, we are venturing back down the Ren rabbit hole with a highly requested song, although what Ren song lately isn't highly requested in these comments. With you Renegades, it's a little difficult to decide on what to actually watch because we're getting so many random requests at so many different times. I guess Ren has a huge catalog and you're all just loving it and we're here for it. So continue to flood the comments with requests. We will get to them when we can. We look forward to reacting to each and every request that y'all comment down below. We just wanna take some time to say thank you to everyone who's been engaging with us. Thank you to everyone who's been leaving us such heartfelt comments. We really do appreciate it. We really appreciate those who actually have taken the time to go down our rabbit hole, our original content, our original songs, our music, and leave comments and leave encouraging messages. Appreciate y'all. And uh, it's little things like that that keep us doing what we do, keep us doing these reactions. So I've seen this one come up quite a few times since we started this journey. Um, this is Ren Genesis. Mm -hmm. Now, I think from what I remember, this is a rap rap one. I think he's gonna rap rap on this. The Genesis is also the first song on uh, Nas's first album called Illmatic. Genesis it's, is also the first book of the Bible. I think the Genesis is just a representation, just to keep it simple, of the beginning of something, the start of something. There you go. You know, where is something starting? Where is beginning? You know, sometimes the twin sense works against us. Sometimes it works against <laughs> us. You know, we know what we're gonna say. The, we, the, the twin sense works <laughs> against us if we're not aware of the twin sense. It's funny because the twin sense is like weird because like you shouldn't be aware of it because it happens naturally, which it does. But in a sense, because you're twins and there is a twin sense, you are aware of it. You got to find that balance of just catching the twin sense before it happens so that it's natural, but you know, you're aware of it. So this is Ren, <laughs> Ren Genesis. Genesis. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's go, man. Let's go. Happy Easter, everybody. Food, what a great way to start. Fish and chips? How very UK. When I'm by my so far from my mind starts drifting somewhere else. It's not inside this domain, chin is definitely somewhere else. I wrestle with my thoughts, constant wrestle with my mental health. I'm put on life support, I've been put upon a high shelf. My whole life I've been fighting. This cake, it don't have icing. These mantras I'm reciting, they're meant to keep me sane. I don't know if they're working, cerebral cortex hurting. Maybe it's all learning. Maybe it's cause life is a lot to read. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before he starts going crazy, let's talk about that intro. Man, what I love uh, about that intro, man, it's just like he just giving you synopsis of his life up until now. Mm -hmm. This his sickness, the things he's he's gone through. He said in the beginning, he's like sometimes my mind is just all over the place. Mm -hmm. But what I like about it even more is the delivery. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I wanna chime in on that. Um, yeah, that was great. I mean, you pretty much said it all. He's giving you a quick synopsis of what's happening up until now. He talks about some of the things that he's done to maybe, you know, try to cope with it. He's like these mantras I'm saying to myself or whatever. How he starts it, you know, he starts it with that little swaggy like And that's always that's always like a head bopper, like just like even saying that like ba ba makes you want to go ba but up, but up, bopping, bopping my head. I've been bopping my head. Are bopping, you bopping your head? head? You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, look, it's happening right now. Exactly. All right, you probably bopped your head when you saw that or heard that. Great, great way to really catch the flow. And I just love the uh, instrumental change up. It's just like the, just the solid um, background instrument, no drums, no nothing. Hmm. Just kind of leading up into the point that we got to now where all the instruments dropped in at once, and now he's about to go off. And Clap. now we yeah. go, we go turn on the rapper ears. So everyone at home, turn on your turn on your rapper turn ears. on your rapper ears because he's about to start rapping, and we want to try to catch it all. So let's go. I'm reciting them meant to keep me sane. 
I don't know if they're working Cerebral cortex hurting Maybe it's all learning Maybe it's cause life is a lottery What's an anomaly? Sometimes it's riches and sometimes it's poverty Sometimes your nerves have been fried by neuropathy Begging the surgeon to have a lobotomy Honestly, I'ma speak honestly, honestly Life is ironically fucking me chronically I have been illing myself and it bothers me License for killing myself, call me Connery Ah uh License for killing Disgusting! Myself. Call me Connery. Sean Connery, bro. I think Sean Connery might have killed himself. I don't oh. remember. If Sean Connery killed himself, that's a bar, right? He said and license the, for killing myself. There has to be a reference there. Listen, but I want me to go back to some of the stuff he said. He said life is a uh, anomaly. Some say it's a lottery. Some lottery. is a lottery. Some he basically said you can either be rich or you can be poor. He used poverty, and I think that like he's right because like you know depending on your mind state and how you view it, life is an anomaly. It's like a one of a kind thing. It's just oh we feel like it's we're the anomaly. It's just happening to us, and it really depends on the situation you're in. If you're poor, you know, you might be saying, oh, this just happened to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going through being poor. If you're rich, you might just be like, oh, it just happened to me or vice versa. You might look at a rich person and be like, that's an anomaly. You might be a rich person, look at a poor person. That's an anomaly. That's a one of a kind thing. Like life's been me chronically because- Chronic you, illness? Chronic illness and literally like, literally that's it. You know what I mean? So I really, I really. Chronic is also when something keeps reoccurring over and over again. Ah, oh, yes. So when something's like a chronic pain or something that happens like that, it's just because it keeps reoccurring. So he's just further saying that bad shit just keeps happening. To me. He's still on this like swaggy, like, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like. He went real new school with this one, I would say. He, I, I, and I'm all for it. Yep. And he's still like, we, we still consider that a uh, head bobbing mm -hmm. flow, like. Kind of like rhythmically bobbing. It pairs well with the opening. But pairs well. What's up, everybody? We just wanted to take the time out to say thanks for watching the reaction. We also wanted to take the time out to introduce you to who we are and what we do. We're Straw Hat Dynasty, a twin breakdancing rap duo from NYC. We've worked years now in cultivating our ability to make quality music, quality music videos, breakdancing, and overall entertaining. We pour everything we have into every song, every video, in order to provide you with the best entertainment experience possible. So if you would take the time to check out some of our original music, our content, and follow us on all platforms, we would super appreciate it. We're just two brothers following our dreams, and we appreciate your support as you join us on this life journey. Thanks so much. Now back to the reaction. I've been five on your property, begging the surgeon to have a lobotomy. Honestly, I'ma speak honestly, honestly. Life is ironically fucking me chronically. I have been illing myself and it bothers me. License for killing myself, call me Connery. Ah. I'ma be straight with you now. I'ma go straight for the heart. People start late in the dark. People die late in the dark. Never was late for the art. Hmm. Never was late for the art. Genesis rain in the rain when the start. Genesis pain in the art. Genesis aim for the heart. Genesis. I'm by myself, I find my mind starts drifting somewhere else It's not inside this realm of thought, it's definitely somewhere else Wage war upon my demons, I've been knocking on the gates of hell A heretic, a heathen, I've been screaming in this padded cell it's So, I think he started that second verse off The same with the first line he said the other one When I'm by myself, I'm mine somewhere else uh, Again, with these biblical references I mean a song called Genesis, heretics with angels and demons The parallels between his life feeling like it's a living hell and, and actually being hell. Uh, I love the flow switch up and when he said the whole Genesis thing. Yeah, there was a lot going on. We're definitely gonna rewind it. But let me talk about that hook. That hook yeah. was dope. That hook was like swaggy, but trippy at the same time. It's like kind of making you think, well, what am I listening to? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And why am I bobbing my head to it? But at the end of the day, I think good music doesn't need an explanation. It's going to make you do what you do. Mm. You know what I mean? It's going to make you feel something. Yeah, man. I'm just, I'm going with my, nat my natural emotions on this one and my natural vibe. And it's just leading me to do this. Who this? <sighs> Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> and I'm by my so far from my mind starts drifting somewhere else. It's not yeah, right. <laughs> it's late for the art. Mm -hmm. No, it was art. People start killing myself. Call me Connery. Ah. I'ma be straight with you now. I'ma go straight for the heart. People dilate in the dark. People dilate in the dark. No, but we're late for. People dilate in the dark. Is this like a? Is that like a like a like a death reference? Like, 
you know, your eyes dilate in the dark, like right before you're gonna reach your final moments or something? I don't know. I was paying more attention to the opening when he said, I'm gonna go straight for the hard. I'm gonna I'm be real from the start, like letting you know that I'm not holding back right now. I'm going to give you the full truth. Can we talk about like the like these flow switch ups? That's what I want to say. Uh, I'm gonna go straight. Ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. Oh my god! I like it. I love when when artists do that. He's just like maintaining the whole. Let's keep a message in the song, but also like, yo, I'm I'm nasty. Like I'm good. Like yo, I'm flexing. Now, I'm gonna go, go straight, straight for the heart. People start late in the dark. People die late in the dark. No one was late for the art. Hmm. No one was late for the art. Genesis rain in the rain when it start. Genesis pain in the art. Genesis aim for the heart. Genesis. By myself, I find my mind starts drifting somewhere else. It's not inside this realm of thought, it's definitely somewhere else. Wage war upon my demons, I've been knocking on the gates of hell. A heretic, a heathen, I've been screaming in this padded cell. It's mmm, man, yo, I love like you, you hear it again, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, this intro sounds like epic, e epic, heavy, and like, like biblical. Like, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, Sorry. Dramatically biblical. <laughs> yes, it does. And, 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 hey, everyone, calm down. We're not saying Ryan's being religious. Get it out your head. Get your ass out your head. <laughs> well, we're just saying what we notice about it. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? He's definitely playing off the fact that Genesis is a book in the Bible and bringing that vibe to it. And it, you know what? It works. It makes it sound more dramatic. It makes it sound more like important. Like maybe you should listen to it. Maybe, maybe there's a deeper meaning behind it. You know, hello, he said, wage war upon my demons. What a way to say uh, the inner struggle within myself. Your demons are often referred to as anything negative about maybe how you view yourself, your toxic habits, your past could be your demons. You know, he said, I'm knocking on the gates of hell. Say, I'm confronting this. Yeah, and then he's got like these epic sounds coming in, like these these Viking like chants and stuff like, ooh, him, ah, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it makes it more dramatic and I love it. Inside this realm of thought, it's definitely somewhere else. Wage war upon my demons, I've been knocking on the gates of hell. A heretic, a heathen, I've been screaming in this padded cell. It's pain making my pain waking, it's painstakingly cold. My soul aching, my bones breaking when holding on to control. Wrap yellow tape round the body shape, put the body in the back, zip close. It's malignant, it's mutating, it's such a sight to behold Uh-huh, mm-hmm Let me be real for a second, mm-hmm Tongue is a gun, it's a weapon, mm-hmm Reload, blah, blah, that him, mm-hmm Beast mode, armor, get him, get him Let me take the wheel for a second Take a hoop, flash a kilo, kneel with aggression Regroup with a three-point steal, succession Switch, swoop, and I'm making them feel the profession Make this guy's God, rapping, man. This guy's <laughs> rapping, bro Yo, this might be my favorite Ren rapidly rap one. I I thought I, I like the hunger, but I like this one. I think a little bit more. Yeah, you know what I love about this one? It's just like the flow is so swaggy. It's so clean. It's so like I love that I'm able to like just really internalize what he's saying as he's saying it. And what he's doing is he's doing that less is more approach. He's like taking less syllables and less uh, bars mm -hmm. to tell you just the same amount of stuff that he would tell you if he was giving you a lot more, you know? It's just a different way of doing it. I'm not saying that the ravage rap attack of <laughs> syllables is uh, is a bad thing. I love stuff like that, yeah, you know what it. I mean? But this is just like easier to consume, which is not a bad thing. You have to understand everyone, when we say easier to consume, all right? I rate my hip hop intelligence and ear at a high level. I don't. I'm not saying that I don't feel I'm intelligent enough to not consume type songs. All I'm saying he means is- people rapping really fast. People rapping really fast. All I'm saying is, as a rapper, I understand the level and skill it takes to have the same effect, but do it in a more simplistic way in which you can convey a deeper, impactful message by saying less. That's a skill in its own, and it's not easy to do, not and not oftentimes easy. can be even be more difficult to do than the other approach. I also want to point out that he's literally just pairing these 
staple new school flows or what people would consider more new school when you compare it to like stuff from the 90s right like he just went from that one but up but up right into that whole but the but the but the and now this one which I, I i myself have been using lately which i love is sitting over here as i'm looking at my bro yo we're doing all this stuff while i'm eating on this fro yo you know like like just this i like it because it's like you can flow but kind of feels like you're talking at the same time which enables you to say like dope shit if you wanted to just say stuff where people are like hmm that was dope helps you set up a punchline so that it hits harder mm, when it does hit mm. but um let's rewind it because i want to talk about the bars i want to listen to the bars and talk about those a little more because yeah. we were just so impressed with the rapping that I completely forgot about the bar, so let's bring it back. Yeah, this is this is a dope one. I like this a lot. Yeah. It looks like look, I think this is somewhere in the. I've been chat. screaming in this pod itself. It's pain making my pain waking. It's painstakingly cold. My soul aching, my bones breaking when holding on to control. Right. Mm, bones breaking when holding on to control. Mmm, man. Up yellow tape round the body shape, put the body in the back, zip close. It's malignant, it's mutating, it's such a sight to behold Uh-huh, mm-hmm Let me be real for a second, mm-hmm Tongue is a gun, it's a weapon, mm -hmm. Reload, blah, blah, that mm -hmm. Beast mode, armor, get him, get him Let me take the wheel for a second Hit a hoop, flash a kilo, kneel with the grass and re- Mm, tongue, tongue, tongue Tongue is a weapon, reload You know, uh Armageddon going beast mode, man. He's just like, yo, man, like, this is it, man. This is it. The genesis, the beginning of it all. Maybe it's the beginning. Maybe what he's saying is this is the beginning of my new life. Like this, I'm turning it over. Now we're starting from the beginning again. And now I'm coming in, guns loaded. My tongue is a weapon. I'm loading my tongue with my yes. with my words. And I'm about to unleash Armageddon on this music game, you know? That's what I thought, man. No, 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 I agree. Um, you know, many rappers believe the uh, the tongue is a weapon. Yeah. As Jizza said, Jizza named his whole project. Jizza from the Wu-Tang Clan, by the way. Named his whole project Liquid Swords. The idea that the sword is the tongue, mm -hmm. right? And you can do so much damage with your voice. Basically what he's saying, your lyrics. At the end of the day, the lyrics are your weapons. As us as rappers, you know, words are like ammunition. I always love giving this metaphor. Our, our mouth is a gun and our words are the bullets we use. And we reload this gun with these bullets. So the more words you know, the more ammunition you have, mm -hmm. the better of a rapper you can be because you can say the same thing eight different ways because you just know so many different, mm -hmm. your vocabulary is vast, you know? And uh, yeah, I, I thought that was so dope. And you know, the tongue, meaning your words is literally, uh, it, it's a weapon in many ways, even past music, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like going to politics, you know, politicians are basically just, telling people what they want to hear, you know, whether it's positive or negative, you know, the point is they're swaying you to put them in positions, right? That are going to affect everything. So like, you know, it all starts from the words that they give to you, the message coming from someone else. It's just words basically move people. I mean, it's communication. Communication in general is the key to making pretty much anything move. You gotta communicate. Your words can be a weapon, not in a negative way, but in a way of like, I'm able to make things happen because I know how to use my words. Mm -hmm. And that's what Ren is able to do so successfully with his music. He's able to move all of you. He's able to move your emotions. He's able to move your state of mind. He's able to help you move your body, right? Right, move your body. In a sense, his words are a weapon because he's utilizing this weaponry that he has within him to affect us all. I love it. I love how we got so much from that one line. Oh, so dope. Oh, I like when he when he stopped before he switched the place that mm-hmm with that mm -hmm. little mm-hmm, little, little the mm-hmm, and it was kind of like like cue the flow switch. <laughs> cue the flow switch, but it was like a slight, like, sweet little melodic moment. Close. It's malignant, it's mutating, it's such a sight to behold. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Let me be real for a second, mm-hmm. Tongue is a gun, it's a weapon, mm-hmm. Reload, blah, blah, that mm -hmm. Beast mode, armor, get him, get him. Let me take the wheel for a second, hit a hoop, flash a kilo, kneel with the grass and regroup with a three-point steel, success and switch swoop, but I'm making them feel the profession. Making them feel the profession, making them feel the profession. Time is the author, the lesson. Time is a murderous weapon. Time is a curse and a blessing. Time is confined in the eye of my mind. It reminds me the life is just slipping right by. Take my piece of the pie and I'm feeding on wine that I'm freedom in right to defy my depression.
Uh, we're winding up. Who bless a with the question? Regroup with a three point steal and success and switch swoop. And I'm making them feel the profession. Making them feel the profession. Making them feel the profession. Time is the author of the lesson. Time is a murderous weapon. Time is a curse and a blessing. Time is confined in the eye of my mind. It reminds me the life is just slipping right by. Take my piece of the pie and I'm feeding on wine. That I'm freedom in rhyme to defy my depression. That wow. Time. That time, time is. He said, Time is up. Time is reminding me that my life is about trying to get this piece of my pie that's feeding this thing that's that's feeding my depression. Uh, maybe like you just wanting to be successful so bad, getting that piece of the pie. Maybe you're driven by money. There's so many ways you can take this. It's time, not even time, funny. Time, what did he say time is a, is he, did he say a beast and a blessing? Or he said time is something and a, a blessing. A curse and a blessing. A curse and a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's just like, you know, I, I so relate with that. Time could be a curse or it could be a blessing depending on how you choose to view it you know, or how you choose to spend your time. Mm. You know what I mean? You could be spending your time doing something that makes you miserable, then it's a curse. You could be spending your time doing something that makes you absolutely happy, and that could be a blessing. And what I love about this is he's continuing with these swaggy flows. Right? And, but I, what he did on this one, audio-wise, right, is he stacked multiple vocals on top of each other, mm. and you heard it as soon. And not only did he stack multiple vocals, mm. but he changed his pitch in each vocal so that when they mixed together, it created like this like cool sonic effect. And what I loved is like, even though he had these multiple vocals stacked on top of each other and switched his pitches, everything still came out crystal clear super clear cut hmm. that we can hear what he's saying and it created this nice little moment for us and he only did it in this time part he gave this whole scheme around time and the idea around time was just a lot of effort and a lot of uh detail was put into that to really accentuate accentuate how important these time bars are. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And he, he went out his way to do that. Let's just say he took his time to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh, brother, this guy sucks! <laughs> stinks. Stinks? Yeah, but uh, that reminded me of something Tech Nine would do. Mm. Tech Nine does this a lot, his mm. music. When he's doing these flows and they'll choose specific parts to introduce the higher pitch voices, like da, 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 da. Nothing was brought up with busting and touching the heart of people that's loving the hardest. Oh, yeah, that reminded me of that. That was sick. That whole time. It's a murderous weapon. Time is a curse and a blessing. Time is confined in the eye of my mind. It reminds me the life is just slipping right by. Take my piece of the pie and I'm feeding on wine. That I'm freedom in rhyme to defy my depression. I'ma be straight with you now, I'ma go straight for the heart People start late in the dark, people die late in the dark No one was late for the art, mm. no one was late for the art Genesis rain in the rain when the start Genesis pain in the art, Genesis aim for the heart Genesis I want to talk about that hook real quick. So I love how the hook is mixed, to be honest with you. It's got like, if, if I could compare the hook to a, a physical item, the hook sounds like like a neon sign, like mm. neon lights that you see from a sign. Mm. You know, if I had to give it a physical manifestation of what that hook sounds like to me, and I love it because it's like, there's like slight distortion on it, and he's using a heavier reverb, sounds like it could be a church, or a chamber reverb, probably a church reverb, which is just a bigger reverb. A reverb is that that reverb is that sound you hear in vocals that makes it sound, in this case, in the hook, you can hear it very presently, so it's easy to describe what it is. It sounds spacey. It sounds spacey. like there's space coming off of the vocal as it's finishing, hmm. right? And he's got a heavier amount on the hook. The hook is, is clearly um, brighter, so the higher frequencies were um, EQ'd so that they would come out more. You know what I'm saying? I really love talking about it because I'm a, I've become somewhat of an engineer nerd. Um, and I even feel like this hook is like compressed, lovely. All right, if I had to guess, this hook probably has a decently fast, not too fast, but decently fast attack on it and, and a somewhat like mid release to kind of like be able to, to compact the vocal, but also let some air out of the vocal at the same time, right? So control it, but also let it breathe. 
I don't know, man. I'm getting deep, man. I don't know too much about <laughs> audio engineering like this guy does, but this guy said church reverb just further backs up the fact that this is called the Genesis and the only proper if you use something called the church yeah. reverb. I don't know, man. It's cool, man. I like the hook. I like the hook. So overall, man, I think the Genesis is one of my favorite run tracks, especially one of my favorite rap. It might be my favorite rap run track out of all the rap run tracks wow. I've heard so far. Compacted with so many flow switch ups. Mm -hmm. uh, punch lines and then sticks to the theme of the song because he uses a lot of biblical references but at the same time I'm not saying he's being religious all right he's using biblical references to stick with the theme of the song to talk about his own life and his, his, his own experiences that's what's happening here yeah and he's just going in and out of it and so much so much went into it whether it be audio engineering techniques flow switch ups punch lines and bars and just the overall message I really liked it yeah, man, I like this track too. It was like really digestible. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like it was like going to like that restaurant where you're known for this one thing, but the one thing is it so overly complicated with so many different things going on. It's just like it's like warm apple pie. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh no, it's like a really well cooked steak or a really well cooked piece of rotisserie chicken. You know, like you kind of just let the flavors do their own thing. And the heart of it is the freshness of the ingredient. All right. Genesis by Ren was dope. Looking forward to listening to the other things you guys have uh, suggested. And yeah, if you like this video, if you found some value in it, I thought there was some great value in this video um, with the, between the audio engineering, the flow switch ups and the breakdowns. You know, we're just trying to give you a unique and fresh perspectives on uh, your favorite artists. That's what we're trying to do here. So please like, comment, subscribe, really helps us, help us get the 10,000 subscribers. And yeah, check out our music sometimes cause you might like it. All right, yo, I'm Trix the Hooligan. I'm Jules the Buddha Monk. And we are Straw Hat Dynasty. Dynasty. Your favorite rapping, breaking twins from NYC. Peace. Peace.